Uh, this rock is a rhyolite porphyry, and the porphyry texture, if you look carefully, you can see some big crystals in here. Uh, and in between the crystals, there's a fine-grained ground mass. So this started off with crystals forming in the magma, and then the magma came up to the surface and erupted. It preserved the big crystals. They'd already formed, but the stuff in between them cooled too quickly to make big crystals. So that gave it a porphyritic texture. Now this one is actually uh, a rhyolite porphyry, and the reason I can tell is it's got a lot of quartz in it. And a lot of students will miss the quartz because it looks really dark in color. But the quartz is much like this quartz crystal, but sort of the, the tricky bit or the snag is when you cut all the light off of it, it just looks dark. And so then you can't see that it's quartz. You could test its hardness and it'd have a hardness of seven. The other thing that's giving its reddish color is the potassium feldspar, or at least the, the material to make the potassium feldspar that's inside of this rock. Uh, so based on those two minerals, quartz and potassium feldspar, this is actually a light colored rock and it would be porphyritic in texture and so we'd call it a porphyritic rhyolite.